there's no greater role that, a, that as mayor I have than to keep the people of this great city safe. Safety is our number one responsibility. Keeps this city vibrant, uh, creates strong neighborhoods, and of course ensures healthy and happier uh, residents. Today, I am pleased to announce that we are gonna have a new chief in Denver, Colorado. This has been a long, arduous, and difficult, challenging decision because we had so many phenomenal candidates in which to choose from. The chief of police is an important partner in governing this city. And so we needed to take time to make sure that the right person was selected and we understood where Denver was with regards to our department and really where we wanted to go over the next uh, five to 10 years. Before I introduce our new chief, let me celebrate um, a few people. First, I wanna thank my chief advisor in this entire process. He also ser served as the, as the chair of the search committee. Um, our director of safety, Troy Riggs, thank you very much for your leadership. I want to thank all of the community members and Denver police officers uh, who gave their input, um, whether they showed up at the community meetings that took place or as we were going about our business in the city, they were very candid and open with their uh, expectations as well as their desires for the department, and I want to thank them. I want to thank the search committee of 16 trusted community members uh, and also three police officers that participated. They were like a offensive line blocking downfield for the running back. And I want to thank them for blocking downfield. Uh, they certainly helped to make this job, this selection process, a little easier uh, by doing a lot of the hard work. And I see several members of the search committee in this room, Charlie being one of them. Thank you all. Will you give, give that search committee a round of applause? <laughs> and then finally, I want to thank my senior team, um, uh, led by Alan Salazar, and uh, so many other members uh, who sat with me, advised me, answered my questions, tracked down information as we vetted our candidates and also helped to understand the placement of this department. Um, they also served on interview panels as we had these uh, candidates go through two interview panels in my office, and I want to thank them as well. And that included the, uh, the independent monitor, Nick Mitchell. Thank you as well for your participation. Finally, I want to thank our current police chief. Robert C. White, or R.C. White, or just Chief. Very soon he will conclude a dedicated 46-year career as a police officer, of which he gave this city the final six and a half years of his career. It was the most difficult decision I made as a newly elected mayor to decide to bring an officer from outside of the department that had not occurred, that had not occurred since 1950. Chief White said to me just moments before walking in this room where I would announce his appointment that I understand you get one shot at this and it's very important you get it right. And he said, I won't let you down. Chief White, you did not let me down. You did not let the city down. We are proud. We were proud and we continue to be proud to call you our chief of police. Thank you. Been a tremendous partner. We'll have a chance to further celebrate Chief White uh, in the coming days. I met with all five finalists, and truly I can tell you that every one of them were fit to be chief of the department. Unfortunately, we only have one chief, and it made that decision even more difficult. This was a thorough process, and one individual through the community um, interview process uh, as part of the search committee, um, and through my t multiple panel interviews internally, was a clear top choice for the parties involved. He did nothing to change the recommendation coming from various groups. Today, it is absolutely my honor as mayor of this city to announce Denver's own Paul Smiley Pazin to become Denver's next <laughs> police chief.
Paul was chosen because he proposed innovation, and he is innovative, because he proposed being collaborative, and he is a collaborator, and because he proposed to further expand Denver as a community-focused uh, police department, and he is a community-focused police officer. Throughout his 24-year career, he has demonstrated a well-known passion for protecting and serving the people of Denver. Throughout this entire process, I heard just a few words from the community, unifier, integrity, strong manager, and a man of the community, a man connected to the community. Folks, there is no greater police officer connected to the community of Denver than Paul Smiley Pazin. I told him last night, I attend some 850 events a year, and there's not an officer I see at those events more than Paul Pazin. With that, help me to welcome the next Chief of Police for the City and County of Denver, Paul Smiley Pazin. First of all, thank you, Mayor, for that warm introduction and this tremendous opportunity. Uh, thank you, Executive Director Riggs. I look forward to our partnership in moving our police department in a better position to serve our community. Serving as a member of the Denver Police Department has been a lifelong dream, and this is a culmination of that service that we get to give back to our community. You see, uh, the passion that I have to serve our community members is far deeper than myself as a person. This goes back generational. I've been very fortunate. I grew up to a single mom, and we needed a little help, and now it's my turn to give back. But even deeper than that, it's to my grandmother, Lola Trujillo, who raised two young women in the Lincoln Park projects. As soon as she got on her feet, she dedicated the rest of her life to giving back. And every one of her kids and grandkids has the same caring gene. And that's what I bring to this department. I want to benefit our officers, show them the way, and never lose sight of serving the community. I believe that we cannot rest on our past successes, but rather build on them. Under the leadership of Chief Robert C. White, we focused our efforts on rebuilding a better relationship with our community, as well as focusing our efforts on preventing crime from occurring in the first place. My passion is to use innovative and collaborative approaches to build on this very strong foundation that the chief has laid for us. It's our turn to raise the bar and serve this community in preventing crime. And when we get there, we're going to raise the bar again. My beliefs center around inclusion and collaboration. We will make every effort to not only include different voices and opinions from within the police department, but also from our community members. We will be steadfast in sharing uh, perspectives, sharing innovations in order to better serve uh, our community. And we are going to address both sides uh, of this, meaning uh, taking care of the people who take care of the people, ensuring that our very talented workforce feels supported moving forward in this very challenging and difficult job. Our North Star is building on that success. So beyond preventing crime, we want to focus on social harms. Now, uh, this is the next level. We want to ensure that, that we are providing services, wraparound services, non-traditional approaches to the most vulnerable, the city's most vulnerable. And in partnership with different groups, 
traditional, non-traditional, we can do that. We can help uh, our communities in small areas with precision policing to ensure that our community members get the best service possible from the Denver Police Department. We owe it to our community to challenge ourselves to do better every single day. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I really appreciate it, and thank you all for being here. Well, we'll open it up for question and answer at this point in time. Yes. The, the truth is, is Chief White will never retire. I, I don't know what this Bruce is that he's got going on. No, there will be some overlap, but we're going to work on those logistics um, uh, in, in the next few days. Yes. So, uh, excellent question. Uh, we're going to... It is. <laughs> Uh, we're going to do this by face-to-face -face contact. Uh, we are going to have a strong leadership team, executive team, and we're going to make it a point to go out and visit each one of those roll calls, each one of the units, day shift, night shift, graveyard, so that way we can hear from the officers and get their perspective. And uh, being uh, in, in the, those different units and meeting with officers face-to-face, -face, hearing their concerns is how we are going to build uh, unity. We're going to work with uh, the officers in order to share their ideas, uh, including innovation. Uh, the officers are the ones that are doing the work day in and day out. If they have ideas or suggestions that can assist us, we're going to listen to those. And that's uh, how we're going to build unity within the Denver Police Department. Well, uh, Brian, great uh, question. So it's one thing to, to get this job. It's one thing to go through the process, but where the real measuring stick is what you have done with this job. So similar to what Chief White has done, moving our department over the last six and a half years, rebuilding the trust that was eroded prior to him taking the position. It's one thing to compete against absolutely incredible competition and uh, attain the position, but the real challenge is in the position, and that's where we will utilize these, our North Star of addressing the social harms, our precision policing model, our collaboration and inclusion uh, approaches in order to get our hands around crime. We're in the middle, or we just started uh, the summer, 102 degrees uh, out here. We need to get our arms around the violent crime in order to keep our community safe, and we're going to do that immediately. Yes. So I am in lockstep with uh, Chief White's reforms. Uh, the foundation that uh, the chief has created over the last six and a half years is solid. It's a foundation that gives us the opportunity to take things to the next level. So as far as uh, our ability now, we're going to enhance those partnerships, enhance uh, those relationships, and look for innovations, collaborations, and uh, where areas where we can unify both uh, our incredible staff, the, the both sworn and civilian staff that provide the service, and our community. We're going to be steadfast in, in doing this. So uh, as far as building on what has taken place, this foundation is very solid. So 
So, uh, you know, use of force policy, ultimately, this is as challenging of an area that we can face when we have officers that are uh, enabled by the citizens to effect an arrest, to uh, seize one person and place them in custody. This is power that is given by the people to the police officers. We need to make sure that we are utilizing that power, not abusing the power and maintaining that trust with our community. And that's why the chief and uh, the team has worked on this policy for over a year in order to get uh, inclusion from the community as well as inclusion from the police department. So we are looking forward to the, the final product and I will work to ensure that all of our officers receive the adequate training for the policy in order to maintain that public trust. One last question on that. <laughs> So uh, I want to get back to really the mission of the Denver Police Department, preventing crime, right? I mean, so this was a, a, a new philosophy that the chief brought with us. It's the same thing when we're talking about use of force. It's the same thing that when we're talking about innovation. How can we prevent uh, issues from coming up? And you do that by being proactive. And that's exactly what the chief did uh, with this use of force policy. And we're going to be proactive to head off and prevent serious use of force issues from occurring in the future. And we're going to do that through strong policy and strong training. Yeah, we're, we're in Colorado, Brian, so uh, Peace Pipe has different meanings out here. <laughs> so uh, here, here's what we're going to do, and we're going to do this with uh, every employee organization that we have in the Denver Police Department. We're going to look for commonalities, where we can work together. Now, the, the Police Protective Association and other employee groups, ultimately, it is for the betterment of the people, the, the police officers. And we're gonna look for areas where we uh, can agree and areas that we uh, may disagree. We're gonna make sure that we don't let those define our relationship and that we can circle back and focus on areas where we can both uh, make some common good. You said that last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, we, we have two models that we're uh, excited to implement, and we're going to implement them uh, right away, an enhanced focus deterrence model as well as a domestic violence uh, deterrence model that uh, is evidence-based, and we're going to roll those out as quickly as possible in order to address the most serious crimes uh, out there. We're uh, well aware of it, and we want to make sure that we are proactive in our approaches in order to keep our community as safe as possible. So, Noel, yes, uh, we have, and, and here's uh, an area that I am so thankful that, that we have. We have a, a police chief that has led five different departments. We have an executive director who's led two police departments. It would be foolish for the next chief not to rely on that knowledge, and we're going to make sure that we have a very diverse command staff and more importantly, that it's inclusive, that we work together in order to uh, address issues. It's about our ability to deliver the highest quality service and working together is the only way that this can be accomplished. Yes, uh, so I, I, I've, uh, I've been blessed. I stand on the shoulders of people who've come before me, and I have never lost sight of that. I've been very fortunate in not only my professional life, but my personal life. So 
I have a positive attitude and I will always have a positive attitude. So that's the smiley term that the mayor gave me about five years ago <laughs> and he doesn't let me forget. Thank you all. Congratulations, Chief.